You know how sometimes you've got something that you wanted to say, but you just weren't really quite sure how to say it. And then time goes on and next thing you know, you'd never did say it. Well, as you saw in the title, that's what happened and I'm moving. In fact, I already moved and this might be a hint as to where I'm currently located. But before we get to that, I've got some other awesome things I wanna share with you. It has been three whole years since we moved to Italy, and obviously for a lot of that, we couldn't travel. So this past summer, we made the most of it, and we were traveling like crazy. Rode some incredible trails like this one that you can see here in Stelvio in northern Italy. And I mean, the trail speaks for itself. It is absolutely beautiful. And after that, before we left Italy, right before we were sure to make another trip to Paganella, one of my favorite bike parks in Italy, and we brought Zach along, so let's roll the clip. That's what I'm talking about. Before we get any further in today's video, I really need your help. I started partnering with companies doing affiliate marketing, so what I need you to do is go down into the description below and use some of those links the next time you need to make a cycling or skiing or other outdoor activity purchase. I'm trying to build out a gear guide on my website, and before I can use these links on my website, I need you to use my YouTube links and make a couple of purchases. So please help me out, use those links below, I'll get a small percentage of the sale and it's no extra cost to you. Once that's done, I can start building out the gear guide on the website. Speaking of my website, if you're not familiar, be sure to check out globaltrailguide.com where you can find all sorts of different content. You can learn more about me, you can see recent videos, and you can also check out the MTB routes section so that way you can learn about more trails in your area, see videos, and find GPX files all in one place. It's a one-stop shop and as I mentioned, I'm going to be creating a gear guide so that way you can make informed decisions about your future purchases and products that you may be looking for. While we were riding at Paganella, I specifically had the goal to clear all the drops on Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now is one of the hardest trails. It's over in Phi Zone, and I rode it once before, but it was in super slippery and wet conditions. And on that particular day, just trying to survive the rock gardens was hard enough. The drops, those weren't even on my mind. So for today, I wanted to make sure that I could make my way down the trail, find those drops, and get them taken care of. Fortunately, with all the riding I've been doing over the summer, the drops actually came really easily. That's fine. It's really like the slabs after it that you kind of have to be ready for. It's fine. flowed super well and I discovered that I was psyching myself out for nothing. the wood features here at Paganella never disappoint. They are so much fun. Speaking of wood features, that brings us to today. Where am I now? I'm back 
back in the United States and in a hotel room at the moment. However, I need to say something before all my European friends decide to unsubscribe from the channel. This summer, I went to a ton of bike parks, places like Morzine, Chatel, Pila, Lavino. That's just to name a few. So I promise you that there's gonna be more content coming from Europe over time. Whee! So stay tuned for that. But before we get to that, now that I'm back in the US, I have to share with you guys this amazing trip that I've just gone on. It's August. We've packed up our house. We've packed up our bikes. We've loaded up the car and shipped it off. It's on a boat headed across the ocean and we make our way to Venice Airport. Out of curiosity, have you ever tried pushing three bikes, two pairs of skis, and five other bags through an airport? Let me tell you right now, you're gonna get a ton of looks. The joys of moving across the world. When we first arrived back in the US, we were in Chicago, spending some much needed time with family and friends. And for some reason, I got the crazy idea that I was gonna sign up for a cross country race. So there I was doing a cat two comp race, racing cross country all out for 90 minutes straight. It was really fun. In our two weeks visiting at home, we also bought a van. Now, before you get too excited, it's not one of those super cool and expensive Mercedes Sprinter vans or anything like that. We just got a super rad mom bomb. And it's actually perfect for mountain biking. So if you wanna hear more about it and why I decided to purchase the minivan, then be sure to leave a comment down below and maybe I'll put a video out about it in the future. After we got our van, it was time to begin our road trip adventure across the United States. To where, you may ask? Well, you'll just have to stay tuned until the next video.